Okay guys, here is the latest update on our little hot rod, this Powertech Slammer. I am extremely happy with the way that the variable speed pedal and the wiring system went in. So in this video, we're gonna go over that and show you guys how it's turning out. Okay guys, so in the last video, we took this thing apart and we kind of talked about it. And here's the original wiring harness. So basically all it was was a push button starter that carried current through the battery into the motor. It was very generic and very uh, rigged. There was no reverse. Um, so this is what we've got, guys. Actually, I'll show you over here. So this is the controller we've used and I always do try to put the link to the description of what we used in the uh, video description and unfortunately it looks like this model is no longer made. So I will put links to um, comparable models that you guys can do this. So basically this is a 24 volt speed controller and what this does is it takes the power and it applies it through this pedal right here. So just like on a car, when you press the gas pedal, it goes faster, right? And then these relays right here, uh, this one is for brake and this one is for reverse. And here's the wiring diagram I use. And that is for the key switch for this system. And that is important because we don't have any of those relays. See all this big spaghetti mess? This is all we got, guys. Take a look back here. We've got the controller. We got the battery connector. We've got this switch uh, switch wire that goes up to the switch. And we've got another one right here that goes to the foot pedal. And then we'll have one that goes to the charge port. That's it. That's all we have. How easy is that, huh? So when we turn the system on, and we apply the pedal. So we can just cruise right along, go slow. Or if they're at the stoplight, they want to go hammer down. And then for reverse, you just turn the key, one more click. And that's it guys. So it's a pretty basic system, but it works great. Because in a stock power wheels, picture this guys, what if you got in your car and you floored the gas pedal and then threw it in gear? That's what a power wheels does. You're applying instant power. There's no, there's no ramping. There's no linear power going up. So this right here really is the best thing that you can do for your kids ride on. Um, oh, and this actually has a separate brake. So this is like made it super easy. So in that system, you're gonna probably want to put a brake pedal. Um, and I'm gonna have to do a separate video on that. Um, but let's focus on this. So we got that all figured out. Another good news is the motor. All it was was one wire from the motor or from the battery compartment. Underneath this, there's three AA batteries and it just had a loose wire. So when you turn this on, And I don't know if it was supposed to, but it it didn't have uh, springs. So I put these little springs so that it gets a little bit more smooth rock position um, back and forth. And so we got all the mechanicals figured out. And um, let's go over the lighting. So I am going to put some lights because that's what I love to do. We got some... Um, pretty bright LED front lights and then I had to order them because I'm out but we're gonna put in some some eagle eyes I don't know if I'm just gonna do red 
I want to just keep it simple. I think I'm just going to put two uh, red eagle eyes, and I'll put the video, or I'm sorry, the description of that in the video description too. Um, yeah, and maybe even some underglows. I think this would look good. And then at the end of the video, you see that rag right there? We are going to reveal the color we picked. We have picked the color for this little hot rod. I appreciate everybody chiming in. We got some blues, we got an orange, um, we got a bright red. I don't know. You guys will have to hold on and see. I'll announce it. It literally came to me as I was delivering a custom C7 Corvette that uh, I just sold. And bam, it hit me. So, um, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to take off the tub and show you guys the actual mechanics of the variable speed throttle because this is what I started with and I removed the actual pedal itself and I had to customize it so um, let me uh, take off this body and I'll show you guys how it works all right guys, so here's what it looks like. So as you can see, here is the pedal. Take a look. So to get the proper throw, I had to weld on this little 45 degree angle plate. Just tack welded it on there. And um, I just made these out of aluminum bar stock and I just bent it because I didn't know exactly where it was gonna be because I didn't want it to interfere with the body mounts. So um, I made that kind of flexible and then once I knew it wasn't going to hit on any of the body tabs, I went ahead and just drilled it and bolted it. And we used a bicycle cable and we used a quarter 20 bolt and we just drilled a small hole through it. And that's what pinches down on the cable. So when you press the gas, see how it's... Uh, and progressively go and then at the foot pedal itself this was the stock bar that was in there this was just a, a little tab that held the bar from going falling out so what we did is we took another piece of aluminum angle iron let me get the better angle here and we just cut it and drilled a hole through it and that's where the barrel of the brake cable goes and then it cinches so yeah that's it right there and you can see the little springs I added to the motor and for the lights I'm probably going to run those inside the tube back to the motor to keep it kind of clean and that is pretty much it um, you can kind of see the chain I cleaned up but it's still got a little bit of a, a little stock spot but um, that is it guys we're pretty much ready to totally break this down sand it and paint it paint you say what color did we pick guys what part what color do you think we picked here it is guys you ready bam we're gonna try this krylon fusion fusion gloss sunbeam what do you think guys yellow little tea bucket I think it's gonna look good leave your comments down below guys stay tuned for the next update where we're uh, probably gonna reveal a painted body thanks for watching <laughs>